Hello from sunny Florida. Looks like our two-day cold snap is over. We had a couple of, uh, like, mid-30s kind of nights. We had to go out and cover all our plants because Florida isn't used to this kind of weather. But it looks like it's over. Sunny days are here. I have some work from a couple of students. They're beginners. This is Agnes's work. She made a lovely plate in our mold and she put her name on it in red and she did a little cream pitcher and maybe um, just a small little vessel. You know how it is with vessels when you're starting out. And my other student, Helen, she also made a plate and a nice cylinder. It's actually very well made and it was trimmed at the bottom very nicely. And a couple of little bowls. These could be for little condiments or little peanuts or pretzels. They're quite cute. Nicely made. Cylindrical. She did a good job. And they decided to do everything in blue, which came out really pretty. I also had some wares come out of the kiln. This is mostly stuff that I'm going to take to Nokomis Grove. So a couple of large vases poppy vases. I really dig the buds myself. <laughs> so I've got this whole poppy worked out pretty well now. Um, I've found the right kind of paintbrush to put the wax over where I put the poppies and the stem. I was having trouble making it a thin line, but I've got that figured out. And it's real important that I smush a little black and white into this part here. It gives it a nice flowing look. I did it on the buds as well. It kind of flows down into the buds, and I like that very much. So, I did two little pitchers, two large vases, one bud vase, and two large pitchers. And I played around a little bit with Chung Red over Fire Brick again. You can see the contrast in this picture, how the, how the poppies are like really red, whereas what I'm doing with my Chung Red is more of a burgundy. It's also quite pretty. So I experimented a little bit with the amount of overlap I can get away with. On the vase in the back, don't get dizzy. <laughs> I really put a lot of Chung Red on it and I like very much the way the Chung Red dripped down into the fire brick and I've got this real black going on. It like dripped and pooled and bubbled. Can you see the texture? It's frothy. Really like it. But I also know that I only glazed it to about there. So it's really moving. So when I do the piece for the show, I have to be careful. Because I don't, I don't want it to hit the shelf. But this fire brick seems to be able to stand up to it. The fire brick, it's not actually pushing the fire brick, it's just moving over the fire brick, which is nice. So I'm very happy with that. And all that stuff you saw in my previous video is in the kiln right now being fired. So, busy girl here, busy girl here in Nokomis, Florida. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.